Well, good morning. I found myself on Saturday bored. And what do I do when I'm bored? I decide that I should go spend all my money. One thing that I, me and my mom used to do growing up is on Saturdays go to like garage sales, yard sales, or like thrifting. So I remembered that someone had told me that there is a good thrift store, Goodwill, same difference, nearby. So I decided, you know what? I've got nothing else to do. Let's go to Goodwill. So I went to Goodwill and I found myself scrolling the, scrolling? Browsing the aisles for what was probably two hours. Now, I did spend quite a bit of time looking at books. I just love the book section of thrift stores because it's just so much personality. Those books have been through a lot, but I ended up finding some really good stuff, some really funky stuff, and even a designer item, which when I found, I was literally shook. My heart dropped. I was like, what? Excuse me? And while I was at it, since this town like has a good reputation, it's a wealthier town, okay? So I saw a little consignment store and this consignment store only takes certain brands. I did find some good items there too so i think that we should do a little haul you know just a little haul because what's shopping without a haul now did i already do a little haul over facetime to my mom yes but it's time i do one to youtube too so let the haul commence <laughs> Okay, jumping right in. I'm actually wearing my first item of this haul. Now, the two places I went to, first was Goodwill. I wouldn't say it's like your typical thrift store in a way that it's a chain. They have them all across the world. Sometimes they get stuff in bulk. They also sell like home decor that isn't always pre-used. At least that's what I think could be wrong. Anyways, first item. We have this Tommy Bahama quarter zip. Only flaw about it is this small stain right here. If you can kind of see it, it's like a little ink mark. I really like it. It's kind of cropped. It has the Tommy Bahama on the back. Now, when I think of Tommy Bahama, I think of middle-aged man, but here we are making dad fits cute. And it was $6, so I'm not gonna pass it up. Plus, it's fall now. We need to bundle up. Guess you could also wear it like this. It's kind of giving Chad. Item number two, and I think this might be my favorite. This is a long sleeve mock turtleneck and it's got the little like cute lettuce i think that's what they call it lettuce detail on it it's from gap it was six dollars from goodwill and the plus being the tall woman that i am it's a tall so like the sleeves like i look like ariana grande you'll never see my whole hang because the sleeves will be like this constantly it's super long but it'll look good tucked into anything and it's very soft like the material is like that super soft stretchy like pajama type stuff the color is just perfect it's darling and i think i'm gonna be wearing this a lot mock turtlenecks they're it for fall i'm telling you people don't know what to wear wear a mock turtleneck next up i'm still wearing the mock neck because i don't want to take it off is this cute little tennis skirt it's a great length i'm thinking a little bit of golf Wear it for tennis, wear it just cause. And it's got pockets. You do the splits in it, do a cheerleading move if you wanted to. There's something so freeing about a tennis skirt. It's everything. Next up, you guessed it, another turtleneck. It follows here. It's uh, 50 degrees in Maine, so it's time to bundle up, folks, okay? It's time to bundle up. It is what I would like to say the perfect fall turtleneck. It's got the rib detail. It's nice and flattering and fitting. Doesn't choke you. It's nice and loose. And it's brown. I've been looking for the perfect brown turtleneck for about a year. It was on my must-haves for the season. I need you to see, like, the rib. I don't I, don't know. I think that's what makes it the rib detail. Okay, next thing we need to talk about that I got from Goodwill are these earrings. I know they're giving like chain link, chain mail, maybe a little bit emo kind of vibe, but I don't have very many silver earrings because I buy a lot of gold and I think these will look really good and they're different. I just don't have anything like them. I'm excited. And these were like a dollar. Next one I got, these are the perfect grandma chunky, maybe like 80s earring, these little gold hoops. I've already like been wearing these every day because I just, I love it. With the turtleneck too, like I love them. I think they're perfect. They're a retro spin on your like typical hoop earring. I'm digging it. Okay, a couple miscellaneous things I got from Goodwill, which they have everything. They've got home goods, they've got decorations, they've got electronics, you name it, they've got it. They're in the dishwasher because I haven't washed them yet. I got these little like seasoning bowls. Is that what you would call them? They're whatever that brand is. They were $2 each. I got two of them. I really wanted them to put like condiments in like soy sauce or ketchup to dip things. Next thing I got, hey guys, I will admit it's kind of weird, but I don't have a lot of decorations in my house and I don't know why it's supposed to me but i was like sure yeah let's get that it is this like painting and this is obviously one like somebody did for art class or like a project i don't know but like it's pretty good this little spot in my hallway it was just begging for this i think i bought it for ten dollars and the person that did it, its name was s blake 
I don't know who you are, Blake, but good job. And I don't know why you threw this out because it was good. But now it's in my home and it brings me happiness. Now we'll move on to the little consignment store. And I don't feel like a lot of people go to consignment stores because they just think of, oh, I'm gonna go thrifting. I'm gonna go to a thrift store. Guys, you're missing out on consignment. It is slightly more expensive, but you're still getting a good deal for the stuff that they have. And a lot of times consignment stores have more name brand stuff, more like gently worn things. So I went around this whole consignment store that had lots of good stuff, lots of designer stuff. All I really could get myself to buy all I thought was worth it was one outfit and I don't even know if these things go together but I got a pair of pants and a sweater so I'll let you see that now okay first thing I got is this pair of cargo like joggers from Aritzia it's their brand TNA but I think they were $28 they look like they haven't been worn they're so nice so like well fitting and I don't own a pair of cargo pants and I was like well they're in I'll get them, I'll try them. They actually fit me, so. They fit the waist so good. Like they've got this elastic on the sides, but they just snatch. I kind of look like Lord Farquaad, just realizing that. Okay, next item is this Zara cropped kind of sweater. It's made out of like a really thick material, so I think it'll be nice and warm in the winter. Now, I think I only got this for like $15 off of what it would have normally been. It was about $30, but I think it'll look nice with a pair of high-waisted jeans, maybe even these, I don't know. But I like the sleeves. I like the little detailing it's got right here. A nice mock turtleneck, but I just think it looks nice. And I like this color brown. Brown's my color of fall, I guess. The last thing I'm gonna talk about, and I can't believe I didn't bring it up sooner, and I nearly left it out of this entire video. You read that right. Christian Dior from Goodwill. It was $20 for this little v-neck sweater. She's a Dior girl. Hear me out, it is an extra large, but it fits so comfy, so nice. Look at it, like it's an extra large, but the way it sits, you never know. The sleeves are so nice, the nice soft cotton. Oh, she's a designer girl, she's rich. I was like about to leave Goodwill and I was just like going through, going through, going through. And I saw it and I said, like my heart dropped. I literally, like my heart started pounding and I was just like, yeah. That's how she came to be in my closet. I love a good deal. That's all I've got for you guys today. Thanks for watching, I hope you had fun. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment your favorite item that I got. I know it's the Christian Dior sweater, okay? And I hope you have the best day ever. Okay, bye.